Generation. It's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Dying. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. But ding. TNT, have you ever heard of the shopping cart theory to determine uh, if people are good or bad members of society? Oh, if they put their shopping cart back, then they're uh, a affable human. And if they don't, then they're not. Yeah, I, I want to read this to you. I found this online. It was on Reddit somewhere. I found a screenshot. But it's from, I think it's from 4chan. But Okay. It says, the, the shopping cart is the ultimate litmus test for whether a person is capable of self-governing. I, I agree. The return of the shopping cart is an easy, convenient task and one which we all recognize as correct, as the correct, appropriate thing to do. Yep. To return the car is objectively right. There are no situations other than dire emergencies in which a person is not able to return their car. Yeah. Simultaneously, it is not illegal to abandon your car. It is not. Therefore, the shopping cart presents itself as the apex example of whether a person will do what is right without being forced to do inherently it. Inherently good or inherently yeah, bad. Yeah, no one will punish you for not returning the car. No one will fine you or kill you for not returning the car. You yep. gain nothing by returning the car. You must return the car out of the goodness of your own heart. Ooh. You must return the cart because it's the right thing to do because it is correct. A person who is unable to do this is no better than an animal, an absolute what? savage, <laughs> who can, oh, wait, who can only be made to do what is right by threatening them with a law and force that stands behind it. The shopping cart is what determines whether a person is good or bad member of society. Hold on. Now look. In defense. <laughs> <laughs> in defense are you a not put a shopping no, cart I'm 100% I take the shopping cart back but I can 100% play devil's advocate right right in defense of those people who do not put their shopping carts back don't they pay people to do that I mean there is a person who is paid to wrangle them up okay then but he what? is paid to go to the cart wrangler and take it back he's Damn. not he's not down to chase down your but he does it doesn't he yeah, she okay, does it too. I then. see ladies out there doing it. Okay, then let them earn that seven fifty an hour. Lord, let them earn that. Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I wrong? will. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I I don't uh, leave my car randomly. I, I mean, I have there, but it's. It, I would say even more nine out of ten. I would say four. four 24 out of 24 times, if not more, I put the cart back in the 24 out of 25? Yeah. I'd say probably at least. Yes, I will say that 99.9% .9 of the time, I put my cart back. Yeah. I, I can't remember the last time that I have not yeah. taken the cart back. Right. To I didn't want to go as high as 99 out of 100, because uh -uh. I'm sure maybe it's a little, but there's one off. Unless but... it's like, like I said, if it's an emergency, but I have not had an emergency yeah. at the grocery store. It's like I'm at the grocery store. Oh, no, my wife is pregnant. Right, you right. Know, you know, or sometimes it's pouring down rain and I have a cart. I'm like, I'm still taking it back. It just depends. Yeah, like, um, but. Yeah, I'm a very big proponent. But of I do. I mean, away. like seriously, they do hire people to do that, right? Like, I this is like okay. So, like, look, is it the janitor's job to clean the bathroom? Yes. Right. If I get pee on the floor, I can't look at that and be like, "Oh, I should probably clean that up." I'm like, "Yo, that's the janitor. He got that." Okay. And is it is it wrong for me to think that way? It's 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 a little nasty. I get you, not for the pee, but for the, obviously for the shopping cart. Is it wrong for me to think that somebody does that? It's a little nasty, but it's not. It's about decency sometimes, because you're not going to go in decent. there and poop on the floor and just be like, "Well, janitor will get it." I mean, but he do. And that that's all. That's also a similar witness test to this. It's how do you treat public bathrooms because. You know somebody's going to clean it, well, but look, why would you make it dirtier on purpose? Okay, so here, here's my thing about that. It's like there's a thin line between like somebody else. Somebody else is going to handle this because they have people here that do that or being 100% malicious. If I walk into the bathroom and I accidentally get pee on the floor, I'm not cleaning that up, fam. I got ish to do. I got my dinner's waiting for me. My meal is probably here. I'm going right. to go. I'm going to go eat. Now, th that is just being inconsiderate, I guess. Now, if I leave an upper decker, that's malicious, you know? Yeah. If I go to the grocery store and I leave my cart in, in a like in a place where it's fine and somebody can pick it up and it's not in the cart corral. Not damaging other cars then, or whatever. Right, yeah, right, yeah, that's a little lazy or whatever, but it's not malicious. Now, if I leave it in a point where it's like, oh, it's going to hit somebody else's car, like that's a little effed up. What if, uh, what about this one? What's that? You pick, you, you're grocery shopping. Yeah. You pick something up, you go, you get halfway around the store. You're like, you know what? I don't want that anymore. 
I've done I, that before. And, so, but here's 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 where it is. Do you just put it wherever? Do you wait till you get to the the checkout and go, hey, I don't need this? Do you take something that's like frozen or cold and just put it in the dry area so it technically gets ruined? Dude, yeah. I've been like down like the macaroni and cheese aisle and there's just like a steak sitting there. Yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, bro, some they're gonna put that back. Someone's gonna buy it. It could have went bad, uh, like or put like ice cream on like a shelf somewhere. You know, it's right. like so so check it, Jonas. I'm gonna I'm I'm give you a little real story here. Um, I have been very broke in, in the past. There was one time I was so broke there. I, I thought I had money, but apparently my payroll check hadn't cleared at the time. And I walked into a Walmart, got all the groceries I needed for the, for the week, got to the checkout, self checkout, checked myself out, had everything in bags and ready to go, put my card in insufficient fund. I turned around and walked out as nonchalantly as I possibly could. And I have never gone back to that Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that was like, yo, I'm not about to sit up here and walk a shame myself into taking all of this stuff back. And yeah, well, that's, it up. that's a little different. Yeah. But, uh, you know, a lot of times what I'll do is if I decide I don't want something, I'll wait till I check out and just say, hey, I don't need this anymore. One or two things. Because they'll take it. And put, they have a thing right Why there. Why don't you just put it back yourself? Now, see, now that is cart. That's cart corral to me. It is. Oh. But it's like how much? Yeah, it's, it's. Oh, but it's what? But here, but they that'd have somebody be, but, to but do that. But no, let me let me challenge that. <laughs> Go ahead. Because if the cart wranglers in the parking lot, do you ever give it to them and not put it in the wrangler? That's the same thing. You hand it to the disbursement. No, no, no. Dude, it's not the same. It thing. is up. If I because, at... because the cart corral is where you got the item from. That's no. the cart corral. No, it is. So you could take. I'm talking about in this situation as an ancillary to the cart corral argument. The item that you no longer want, the cart corral for that is where the hell you picked it up. No, the so cart take it back to where you put, picked it up instead of handing it off to the person who is nowhere near no. where that item is because you're like, oh, no, nah, you'll do it. They you have a it. misplaced item. Take it back to the shelf, people. Why don't you just leave it on the side of the road then? Just take the item out of your cart and just leave it on the, no, on man, the hamper. Like, you get the cart from inside. You do it. You put it in a, in a distribution center on the outside. If, if the guy is walking down the aisle and I'm like, hey, here's the cart. He takes it and puts it with the other. I mean, carts. yeah, but you're giving it to the now. If there was person that was handling, uh, like loss prevention or returning items, that's to what the they store, do. Like they have a. But you said you give it to the cashier because they have a spot. <laughs> Why did you just take it back? That's I feel like it's the same. That's level. employee use only. They have like, to. Give I feel it. like it's the same level of laziness for not taking an item that you decided that you no longer back because you don't want to walk the twenty five to thirty feet to just put it back on the shelf. There's a difference. I mean, they, there they, is they a they slight have, difference, they, but... They have a, a restocking a shelf has more consequence than putting a cart in a cart corral because they want things to be faced a certain way. They want things there. What this if you knock guy. down cans? What if you do whatever? What I mean, they're, you know, this they stack guy. them properly. They, they want them in a the right way. You're helping them do their job better. Not doing a cart... With, with that being said, Jonas, I 100% always put my cart back, and I suggest that other people do too, because it is inherently lazy. And have you seen the cart narcs? Absolutely love the cart Oh, narc. I saw one the other day where he got a gun pulled on him. Yeah, I've seen that one too. There's been a guy bunch of Guy just pulls up and cocks a gun, yeah, and he, he was, was like, like, go put that ish on my car. I love that guy, and I hope to God that he, he makes millions one day, this cart narking. He's doing it in Texas, because yeah, he he's at H-E-B's. Yeah, he is in Texas. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's great, man, and he just- How long has that been going on? I just found out about it like a week ago. Oh, it's been going on for a while now. There's a bunch of them, and it's like, the only ones that ever really go viral are the ones where people get really pissed off. And like threaten them with violence or like try to shove them, and he has like he has like magnets that just like stick to your cart and says I'm a lazy bones didn't put my cart back at the H E B or something. <laughs> so it, it just puts magnets on your cart and people get so mad sometimes. Like like he's gonna end up getting shot one of these days. And that one time a guy pulled a gun on him, people were like, <laughs> and in the video where he gets a gun, he's like, oh, look, I'm not gonna race risk my life for the carts, even though you know I probably should, because the carts are super important. And he's such a nice. He reminds me of the guy from Thirty Rock. Oh, Kenneth. Yeah, you're obviously a Kenneth from 30. Cartnarks. Yeah, but check it out, man. Cartnarks. It's been going yeah. on for a while. It's pretty good. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we up.